Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin for today, June 28, 2018. And today, the Mexican peso got appreciated again, even with the complex uh, context on the volatile set. Well, the peso was appreciated where the forex markets raised positions in pesos, given a decrease in the Bloomberg dollar spot of 0.27%, 20, uh, given some other, uh, other data like the US application for unemployment, where it stands worse than expected, 227,000 uh, applications, and GDP for the first quarter of 2018 in the final review. Uh, just went up 2% when it was expected 2.2%. Also, oil went up strongly and Banco de Mexico uh, stated by Subgovernor Javier Guzman that there is a potential hike in the rate in, 2000, in the second semester of 2018, so which it implies basically that it will help also the Mexican peso to avoid this uh, complex volatility scenario that we're living on uh, along trade war in, from the US to elsewhere, uh, NAFTA negotiations, the normalization of the rate uh, at the Federal Reserve and the rest of central banks worldwide, as well as the Mexican elections that will take place this following um, Sunday, Sunday the 1st of July. So all of this is taken into account by Banco de Mexico and if two days ago one of the members uh, of, of the Banco de Mexico stated that there were no problems if Mr. Lopez Obrador wins the election. Today, uh, Javier Guzman is stating something that could be considered uh, counter in, in, in counter sense, because well, basically what we are seeing is that they are looking for a, right, a, a rate hike, which implies also pressure for financing, and it will decrease the potential GDP for growth for this year. So. This scenario is not looking pretty well on what Banco de Mexico is stating to the press. And also it's weird because sub-governors or deputy governors regularly do talk to the press, but the, the only voice at Banco de Mexico is the governor of Banco de Mexico. But two days ago, one of the members of the staff of Banco de Mexico spoke and talked about this issue with López Obrador. Now, uh, deputy governor comes in and talks about a counter uh position. So, I mean, although it helped the, the today's uh, exchange rate uh, position, the fruitful is uh, that we are facing an interesting and weird scenario where we don't know what will happen. In terms of uh, the oil market, uh, well, the deal here is basically we are facing a situation where the U.S. is uh, putting some pressure on its allies and, well, to, to increase sanctions or to put into, into action the sanctions that will begin in November against Iran. And uh, the U.S. knows that their own, only actions will not be enough, so they're willing to have all allies uh, around the United States doing the same, but they're losing allies given the trade war. So, I mean, we will see what happens with that. Also, the renewed agreement at OPEC will only give space to compensate Iran's and Venezuela's uh, fail, falling ex exports given those sanctions. And we will see if they actually meet the increases they are, they are proposing. Interruptions of, of supply from Canada and the militia at Libya are actual, actually getting some influence in the price hikes from yesterday and today. So those elements help a little bit the uh, exchange rate. And in monetary terms, the information regarding uh, import in, imports, like, like imported inflation from abroad in, in terms of Mexico, it's important because we're increasing our move on international trade during this year whether they are exports or imports. But given the trade war, given the oil prices, given the, the increase or the growth of the economies glo globally, I mean, it implies in the end that there is a, 
uh, an increase in inflation, and we are importing inflation in that terms. So in those terms, so this is a, an important element to be uh, overlooked by Banco de Mexico to avoid uh, a greater impact in our inflation uh, situation for Mexico. That's the information for today. Thank you very much for your attention, and we will see you tomorrow.